have an engine that's sitting, obviously, ready to be installed on a crate, uh, and Bob is going to go over some of the basics of uh, the motor mounts. Okay, well, the front motor mounts, there are two different styles of motor mounts. You want to use a 0, 45 for the front motor mount. The back motor mounts will be marked 0, 5, 5. Also, when installing this and replacing the motor mount, each one that you take off, you want to count the threads and put the replacement motor mount in exactly with the same amount of adjustment threads on each individual mount. That's the threads right here. Exactly. This is your adjustment nut right here. And you always want to make sure that the feet of these things are lined up straight with the rubber. You don't want them twisted. You want them nice and straight like this. Which is a very easy thing to do. So you count your threads in advance before ever taking it off. Exactly. Uh, and then it, uh, what's the sequence? Well, you want to un unfold all the ink, put the motor straight up. Go ahead and put in your front two motor mounts first. Into the existing uh, threaded. Exactly. Okay. Uh, also, you are going to have to unbolt the coupling transmission in the back in order to get the motor to raise up. So explain that again. Uh, after unbolting all the motor mounts, you will have to unbolt your coupling for the bolts from the transmission. Oh, right, of course. Yeah. Lift it up in order to get your motor mounts, your new motor mounts in. Okay. All right, uh, anything else? Uh, that's pretty much it. Four nuts, take them off, unbolt the coupling, lift it up. Do you want to talk about uh, making sure the engine's level or anything like that? Yeah, there's a... Uh, you want whatever angle you have on the engine itself, you want the same angle back on your transmission coupling so that you do not have any vibration between the drive leg and the, and the engine. Exactly. Okay. All right, so it, it would typically come out through the cockpit. I uh, take the hatch off. Yes. And come out through the yeah, cockpit. You've got enough to lift it up there. Okay. All right. All right, anything else that you know? Um, no, that's pretty much it. If you got all your motor mounts exactly positioned as the old ones, you should be pretty much in alignment. Okay. Should, um, because he's not going to have, he's not going to have one. Yeah. Give you the actual degree uh, of the angle. Okay, and how would you use that? Um, place this up here. Find out your angle there on the motor itself. Set it so you get a level reading on your, on your level. Uh-huh. And go right back to the coupling and where the transmission and where the coupling comes in, you're going to put it on there like that and make sure that you have the same exact level that you do of the actual engine. Okay. Okay. All right, just to explain one more time in case there's any question is the sequence. Okay. Uh, like I said, unfold these series of nuts all the way around, all four of them. Unbolt the four bolts on the coupling and transmission. And what you're going to do is lift and go forward at the same time. Because you're going to have these bolts in the back on the coupling stay stationary. They don't, so you kind of got to finagle out and up at the same time. Okay. Um, same thing when putting it in. You got to line these up with the coupling bolts, get that all lined up, and look at the front. And you were mentioning that the uh, front... You're already going to have these. You want to put these mounts in place before you do anything. But when you're removing, there's some give on that. Yes. All right? Right. These will give. All right. And, and what... Same given now, and they're in place. Okay. And, and what else, uh, in terms of the tools... Uh, you just, in, yeah, you're going to want to try to get these... When you're dropping the motor in, you're going to want to try to get them... Get these lined up and bolts already through this. Get the front tilted up. And look at what you got, and then you're going to line these holes up, and then set it all down in one shot. Okay. You want to show the extension? Yeah. You get them out. Get the motor 
mouth holds out. You're probably going to need a long extension. What is that, two foot? No, it's uh, a foot and a half. 18 or something like that? Um, but anyway. So that'll do you well in terms of getting the, uh, the bolts yeah. out themselves. Alright, anything else? Um, like I say, you're going to want to you know, want to put these motor mounts in first. You can leave these intact, but count the threads on every one. Okay. Bob, are the motor mounts numbered in some way? Yeah, all right, we got that all. all right, okay. Yep. Is it good?